I've been a Queen's fan since about 2004, 2005 when my dad took me to my first games. I love low league football, it feels like a big family. You know, you go to a game and you can hear a hundred old men telling the manager and players what to do. Yeah, everything about it, I think it's amazing. It's one of the best products we've got in the country, I think. You know, it was a scary time, I think, when you're sitting at home in lockdown, you know, thinking about the club that you love, you know, is it going to survive this? Are we all going to survive this? <laughs> My name's Finlay Jack and I am a match reporter, live tweeter and co-commentator for Queen of the South Football Club. More than the leagues, I thought, I thought there'd be more clubs going into administration, financial difficulty. We've obviously seen a few teams have to lay off some staff, it's just to try and help them survive, I guess. And we're probably still losing money playing football, which, you know, it's not sustainable for any business. The Queen's Trust is here to strengthen the bonds between Queen of the South and its fans and the community. But, you know, our aim is to help Queen of the South be more successful and, you know, improve the relationship with, with the community. At the start of the pandemic, when, you know, Queen's really had no income, our main thing was that we bought four entries to the shirt draw. The other thing we did is that with each shirt draw, you get a um, season ticket. We raffled them, if you like. You know, if you join the Queen's Trust, you've got a chance to win a season ticket. So we did that and we were really successful. We've got the highest ever membership. I think we've got over 300, 315 members. I think partly because people wanted to do something for Queen of the South and saw the Trust as a way of doing it. I don't think people have realised how much it has affected mental, uh, fans' mental health. It's People, I've been open, I've had depression for two years, I've struggled with it, and there's loads and loads of people, especially men that struggle, and football's that one time of a week or one time every two weeks where you can go to a ground, you can meet your mates before a game, and you can forget about everything for a few hours and just watch the field. But even if you lose, it's still nice to be in the company of people you like, have a few pints, watch the game. I think older fans, especially because some of them have been coming here for 50 years plus, week in, week out. You know, especially with older males, they're less likely to even come out and say they're struggling or anything. So you know, there's a lot of fans like that right now, and it's almost gone under the radar how much um, football helps fans' mental health, I think. I mean, I certainly do feel the lack of social interaction, if you like, because a large part of supporting Queen of the South is going to the games with my mates. I, I do miss that a lot, and I have a, a circle of friends who are basically my football friends, you know, and that's sometimes the only time you really see them. And it's all tied in with the social isolation, I think, more than anything. I guess the solution to bringing it back was live streaming. And the clubs have done really well, with the help of SPFL, especially low down the leagues, to implement that. It's like every team has their own live streaming service now, be it computer controlled or like we do with volunteers. At Queen's, we have, running the stream, we have four volunteers, uh, myself, my commentator, and a video director and a cameraman who prefer to be unnamed, I'm sure. Live streaming games have, yeah, they've helped the club financially, definitely. We've not made as much money, I don't think, as we would have with matched income, but in times like this, it really has helped. You know, it's, there isn't much income at all. And it's, but people at home, they don't have as much money as they did because people have been laid off and there's no jobs and it's, it's really tough. So even though it's, I think it's almost half the price for a live stream than it was for an adult ticket last season, um, it's kept us afloat. It's the highlight of your week. You know, there's some people that have never missed a game for years and years and years, and if they didn't have this, it'd be really sad for them, you know. So I think it's a good thing, and it's a way to make money, even though it's not always easy watching Queen of the South play football. Well, that's a million dollar question, I think. What's the future looking like? Uh, nobody knows, I don't think. It, it changes every minute. It feels like, I think the clubs have, they've done the hard bit. We've came through the, the toughest financial period for the lower league clubs. And I mean, hopefully things are starting to look a bit better with vaccinations and everything that we can see a, a light at the end of the tunnel of some sort, a little twinkle there. <laughs> I hope so anyways. <laughs>